What's up, guys? How you doing? My name is Mel. Welcome to Holmes Law. Today, we're going to be talking about wide offsets, okay? And I've gotten a few emails from you guys, and you guys don't even know that you are actually asking about wide offsets, okay? Now, what is a wide offset? I'm going to explain that. But all your emails have been guiding me to this video, which I'm going to do. It'll be a quick one, all right, because we all know how to do offsets. I'm just going to show you the actual layout. Okay, and once you see the layout, it'll come to you and, and you know, it'll all, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right. Now, basically, let's just say for argument's sake that, you know, I only have five foot lengths of conduit. Okay. But let's just say that these are 10 foot. Okay. Whatever the case may be. All right. I only have five foot lengths of conduit. So I'm just going to lay these out accordingly. All right, but you could actually out in the field do the same thing with 10 foot pieces. All right, so let's just say for argument's sake, because I can't, you know, I only have 60 inches of conduit for each piece. So let's just say that my offset, all right, I want a 30 inch offset, all right, 30 inch rise at 30 degrees, okay. Now, that would equal, okay, a 60-inch spacing between bends, right? Okay, now just imagine if that was actually 10 foot pieces, all right? Let's just say that I wanted a, I don't know, let's just double it. Let's say I wanted a 60-inch rise and, and with 30 degree bends, that would be 120 inches. That's basically the whole length of conduit, okay? So I can't do it. What do you do? Basically, all right, all you have to do is, let me zoom out here a little bit, is let's get rid of this. Very simple. Join two pieces together. And that's it. That basically solves your whole problem right there. You join two pieces together just for the layout. Okay? Just for the layout. All right, so now, now you have, you know, technically speaking out in the field, now you have a 20-foot piece of conduit, okay, to lay out anywhere you wish, okay, however you wish to do it, all right? You can start your first mark down that way, okay, at whatever inches you want, let's just, maybe you want it a foot away from the beginning, and then you can do your 60 inch spacing, or for you, maybe on the field, your 120 inch spacing, because you have the whole, you have two lengths now, all right, and all you have to do is, when you actually mark these, let's just do one, just so that you don't get confused, okay, let's mark one, all right, now these marks aren't gonna actually be, you know, anything. Let's just say we want one at a foot away. All right, 12 inches away, all right. And the next one we're gonna do, whoops. It actually came out. Let me tighten this here. There we go, now we're nice and tight. And now we want another one at, from that mark, 60 inches. Okay, but for you out in the field, you know, it'll probably be double or whatever the case may be, obviously, because you have longer piece than I do. Okay, so now what I do is, because obviously you have to take them apart to bend them, okay? My second mark, I like to mark B, or you can just put two, you know, I put a B on it, and my first mark, after I take it apart, whatever the case may be, where is my first mark, right here, I put an A, and usually I know that, you know, when the letter is in front of the mark, the letter has to be in the front, this way you know the direction that you gotta put the actual piece of conduit, you know, in the bender, all right? 
That being said, that works with any 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 kind of conduit. You know, what I mean, uh, whether you're using it for the table bender, you know, um, uh, the electric bender, whatever the case may be, and, or a hand bender. It's not only hand bender, you know, because most of the time I've done this, it's actually been with larger conduit. You know, very large conduit, whether it be two inches and up. You know, very rarely you'll have to do an offset very wide with a uh, with a three quarter conduit. You know, it's very very rare. I've actually never done one. That why before. Um, usually I've done it with like four inch pipe, three inch pipe, you know, but what all you have to do is just put these two pieces together and lay them out as if it's one. Take them apart, make sure you know both of the bends, which is A and which is B, and you know, bend them accordingly. Like it's just two different pieces. When you put them together, it's gonna equal your the the rise that you need. And that's basically it, guys. There's nothing to it. The whole thing about it is just putting the two pieces together, marking your, your A side and your B side, and knowing which way you have to put them in the bender and bending it. And basically, that's it. You know what I mean? Put the two couplings together, and that's basically, you know, that's your piece. One 20-foot piece, and you can mark it however. And you can do this for whatever, however long, you know, you need. If you need to do it with three pieces, you know what I'm saying? You can do it with three pieces, with four pieces, whatever, you know, sky's the limit, guys. All right, I hope this helps, especially for you, Gus. This one was for you. Uh, thanks for becoming a member. I really appreciate it, guys. Hit me up on, on LinkedIn at Melvin Rubio. I'm, I'm trying to get 150 followers so I can start going live there. Uh, go to my profile, hit me up on the skills, you know, endorse me, guys. Also, I'm on Instagram, TikTok. I'm on every single platform that you can think of. I have a podcast that's out as well. I'm starting to drop more podcasts. Uh, I haven't been dropping them lately, but I'm going to get back into it as well. I have many different playlists. If you have any video ideas that you need me to do, please just hit me in the comments. I'm on Discord as well. That's the best place to get in contact with me with. If you don't have my Discord, hit me up and I'll send you the link. Guys, I'm here for you. For you. Just hit me up, guys, all right? Thanks, and I'm out.